Well, good evening, everybody. How are you? So, last, well, not last minute, but I just decided to throw the, uh, the camera on to film. I'm trying to do math in my head here. This is eight and a half by 11, so half of that is four and a quarter. Yep, four and a quarter. Goodness gracious. So I am making a card for my coworkers who did a lot to really help me the last few weeks. So I thought I would make them a card to show my appreciation. So, yeah, that looks about right. That looks about right. All right. So I have been literally toying with this in my brain for like half of the uh, half of my day. And I know I don't want this to be, I want it to be that big. What I did before I decide what I'm going to do here, and this is um, a printout from Artie Mays, not Artie Mays, good grief, um, Deb from Artsology. Um, this is her mystery bundle kit number two. And I guess it's really kind of hard to see, but I, um, I took some, what did I take? Stuff. All right, I took tracing paper, put it down on top of the, um, the image that I liked, and then I, put, I used the sewing machine and went around it with black thread. And I also have this one too. I think I like this one better. I haven't cut it out yet. But I also need to figure out. Oh, well, I guess I should cut this out. I'm getting so far ahead of myself and doing so many things at once. And that's part of the problem. My brain goes a thousand miles a minute. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it out large first. I don't know where this is going to take me. I don't know where my journey is going. So I know that half of this, well, why don't we measure it? That would be a great first start. All right, so this is three, about three and three quarters. So if I made this, took an inch off of this, by 11 made it 10. That's gracious. It's really not that difficult to do. It's just that I have a tendency to think way too hard. And I end up making things harder for myself in the long run. Let's not tear that, tear that tracing paper up there because that tracing paper has a purpose, which I will show you in just a second. But what I would like to do is I'd like this to be to neat because the people that I work with were so kind while I was sick. Now, having that 
I can cut more off the bottom if I need to. All right. So, see here. Sorry for the noise. You know when you start to create and everything just starts to um, encroach <laughs> on your creative space? So that's what's happening. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cover the front side of this. I had this huge, huge, huge piece of material. <laughs> I want to cut a piece out so that it covers the, um, just, I have no idea where I got this from. I had it for a very long time. But I recently was like, hey, you know, I was going through my stuff and I realized that I had stuff in here that is quite usable. I should be using it. Oh, well, I'm going to. I really like the color of this. All right. Oh, everything goes on the floor because that's where, you know, isn't that where we always throw everything on the floor? Oh, yes, I see that. I see it. I see it. I want to put this down. All right, I think I'm going to use Fabri-Tac since it is a heavier, heavier piece of fabric. Before we do that, you know what? I'm going to distress the sides because I don't know what the sides are going to. Woo! Let's not put that on top. <gasps> oh my goodness! I'm losing my brain. Not sure how much of this is going to show. So I'm going to give it a really good um, distressing. And this is a um, vintage photo, Distress Ink. Normally, I would put a list of everything that I use in the description below, but a lot of this stuff is just coming from my, um, my stash. So there's no link to my stash, friends. <laughs> I would love for there to be, but there's not. All right, so now I don't want to lose this. There's a purpose for this. So in the meantime, I'm, I'm going to literally tape it over to the, I moved it over to the side of my desk. All right. I just finished making two journals and I really um, put a pretty good dent in my, um, Abertac glue. So I have it in a sugar bell bottle because it, for the most part, it does not, um, does not like explode out of um, my bottle, it does not explode out of this bottle like it does out of the bottle that it comes with. So, I don't know if this is going to show through or not. So it looks like 
this fabric is pretty lightweight. That's all right, I don't care. Well, um, we'll be okay. So let's just kind of lay this on here and see what we got, huh? I mean, worst case scenario, I have to do another one, right? Through a little bit, but it will dry. Will dry nice and clear. It's a good thing to try and get your glue to spread as much as you can. I like to use a bone folder or um, is a uh, old Chick-fil-A promotional card for a Greek yogurt. I don't usually go to Chick-fil-A. I'm one of the rare people in this world that doesn't care for it that much. <laughs> right? Yeah, that is going to be a little bit sticky. That's okay. I'm not too worried about it because I'm actually going to go over that with Vintage Photo again too. So let's go ahead and cut this so it fits. Even mind if it frays a little bit. But... You know, I could have gone to the store and um, just put the card up. Um, I have a card sitting here that I made a while ago. Could have used, but it just wouldn't have been the same. It's not for me. Would not have been the same. And I really wanted this to be special. So what I did was I took a bunch of um, a bunch of uh, prints that I liked from um, Deb's. Uh, I went through a couple of her um, digitals that I have, and like I tried this one. This one's kind of cute too, though. Now that I think about it, but nope, sorry, I've already committed to a smaller card. <laughs> sorry, my brain gets in front of me sometimes. Oh, all right, this is almost dry. Don't. Oh, let's go. Line this up. Hope for the best. <laughs> like I said, worst comes to worst. I just print it out and resew it, but. Not a big deal. Oh yeah, that's going to be pretty. The lines that you sewed with is your guide. Instead of, you know, here. It's always going to be right. Um, uh, blade on my trimmer is getting dull. I have replacements, but I'm putting off using them for as long as possible because, you know, 
this to last as long as possible. Here that is. It's really pretty to be distressed. like it needs to be on something because I just printed it on um, just thin paper. I think it's a little bit thicker than copy paper, but like it to kind of round on the corners as it frames the photo really well. Circle around this just so, ever so slightly. I don't want it to totally you know, very lightly go over the picture. You can see it up here. Kind of cute. I mean, again, this is not rocket science. This is just a really quick easy card um, that I'm just throwing together and I just wanted to show you how easy it is to just throw something together it's not it's not hard um, get this to shred a little bit. No, nah, it's not gonna. Nah, it's not gonna. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to glue this down. Again, yes, the Fabri-Tac. Making this so much harder than it has to be, sorry. I'm going to go along the, um, the stitching just to keep it from coming undone, even though I did tie it and knot it and all that fun stuff. Out that far from the top. Got a good press with my hands. I'm going to do the unthinkable. I'm going to trim it with my my regular my regular scissors, just because there's too much to go through.
Too bad. Not bad at all. Hope this psychos is good. Wish me luck, friends. Right, I'm digging that. I'm digging that. Whoop, sorry. Here we go. Just back out again. Now I'm going to fix the edges here. Now we have that down. This is going to be the tricky hickey part. <laughs> I want to, you would think, you know, for as many years as I've been doing this, you would think I would have stamp that says thank you <laughs> don't i do not have a stamp that says thank you come on i went through every stamp in my collection and trust me i have a large collection so i'm going to try to stamp it with these in my archival ink if not, then I'm just going to print something out on the. In a while, I don't know how. Okay. Type with or type. I want to stamp with thanks. I'm just going to kind of wipe it off on a, I have a um, baby wipe over here to the side. W. I'm just going to use all caps because I don't like the lowercase over there. No, not liking this. All right, hold on. I'm going to print something out. Okay, here we go. Sincere thanks. Let this be a lesson to you. Always have a stamp that says thank you. <laughs> All right, so now I'm just going to cut this out. I know that's not straight. I'll fix it afterwards. That's not straight either. 
Ai, ai, ai. Just a smidge more. There we go. Sincere thanks. I'm going to glue this. First of all, you know what? changed my mind. Made it all grungy. Because that's what I do. And I grunged it all up. Lightly. And then I'm going heavier on the edges so it defines it. Now I spent a lot of the day just playing, trying to decide how I wanted this to look because I had been really thinking about it actually for a long time. It'll look really nice right there with sincere things. I'm going to use, I mean, why not? Since I've used it for everything else, I might as well use it for this too. You know, it's fun to play with your things and get your hands dirty. Doesn't hurt anything. I'm just going to do a little uh, There you go. All right, so I may add some bow and a little bit of whatever, but quick, easy, thank you card. And then I can open it up and write a very nice thank you note inside. We'll be all set. So just a quick little thank you card for some really great people that I work with. So that's all I've got for you. Quick, easy. Sorry it took 28 minutes, but hey, you know, <laughs> life happens. All right. Thanks. All right. Everybody be great. Be safe. Most importantly, be nice. It's not that difficult. Thanks, everybody. Bye.